All right, guys. Can you see what is here? Guess what you think might be inside that basket. That <laughs> guys <laughs> I have a surprise for you guys I want to show you guys something just come along with me and see the surprise that I have for you <laughs> all right guys can you see what is here guess what you think might be inside that basket that I have to use both uh, my axe, my kitchen axe, a, a, a half tuba of yam, a wood to secure like this. Even a prisoner has not been used, I've not been secured in this manner. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to know what is inside this basket. So let's start taking this thing out one after the other this goes first then this second and the kitchen hammer third so let's go what is in this basket what is in this basket? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, guys, look at what is hidden in under the basket, guys. This is snail. They are like snail, oh. They just that. It's like, oh my goodness. They are live snails, guys. Just a minute. Okay. Look at it. Do you see how it's closing up? They should tell you that this is a live snail. And the lovely. All the way from Nigeria. <laughs> wow, 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 guys. You are wondering, and most of you from Africa, especially Nigeria, will be wondering how did this woman get live snail across the border? I mean, definitely, we all know that taking a live snail or whatever life except human being from the airport to the airport and out of the airport is an impossible thing so are you wondering how i managed to smuggle this from nigeria to europe to italy ah, then keep watching don't go nowhere i will be right back to tell you the secret of how i got this live snail down to where i reside all right guys before i end this vlog i want you to just take a note at something i never knew that snails eat paper like seriously like i put this paper down yesterday the calendar i put it down you know and look at they've eaten all this place just take a look because i didn't have enough spinach to put so I have to put them on top of the little spinach that I have so that they will see something to eat. And then I'm going to sprinkle some water on them so that, you know, they will not quench you before I'm ready to cook the soup. <laughs> so that they will not kick the bucket. See, look at, look at, see how they are eating. They are eating the papers. So I have to change this paper and put in another one. So that is that, guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video don't forget guys please let me know which soup do you think will go for this beautiful edible animal that you're seeing right there on the screen let me have your suggestions 
on my comment box below this is princess chief vlog and today we are vlogging about snail all the way from africa nigeria precisely to europe hmm. this snail really traveled a long distance so traveled far far distance and i'm sure they are very tired by now so let's leave them to rest i will change the i will change the the, the papers that i put on the floor sprinkles of water on them and hopefully let's see if i can get some more spinach to give to them so that they can be healthy and stay hard alive for me to use to cook guys look at just look at look at how this one do you see it do you see how this one is eating the paper wow see snail that is eating paper wow i never knew snails eat paper i thought they eat only leaves this one is eating paper wow all right guys as you can see i have changed the papers and um i'm going to take the snail and dip them inside this bowl of water to get them a bit wet not much and you see it grows then i put them back the way it is before just i'm going to take some water and then this way so this is to keep them you know alive I don't want them to die so you can see i am done arranging them now so i will cover them back because i don't want them to run away now i want to tell you a short story guys when i was um seven ten years old i went to you know back then in the village so i went with my friends to go and to go for a uh, snail hunting you know snail is is best hunted when it is raining season right the ground is wet that's when you see all of them coming out so we went for snail hunting at midnight it was in the night that was around 12 11 12 uh, in the night and i caught big big snail like just like this very one but because I, I sneaked out from the house to go for that snail hunting, when I got back, I didn't know how to preserve it so that they wouldn't run away. So I left them in the container where I, 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 the container I brought them with. And I went to bed. The following day, guys, I woke up. I didn't even find one single snail. I almost cried. I couldn't ask anybody. Because if if I if they get to know that I sneaked out of the house at the middle of the night for snail hunting, I will be given thorough beating. So for fear of not being beaten, I kept quiet. But those snail pained me. I cried inside my heart because I, among the six of us that went for snail hunting, I was the only one that got big big snail. And when I was getting this snail, they were shouting, "Princess, come out of that place! Come out of that place! There might be snake." There may be snake in that place because snails, um, snakes use snails to secure themselves, you know, to, to, to round themselves. So when you start seeing big, big snails like this, that means there is a snake around the corner. And the moment I heard of a snake, guys, I took to my heel. I ran like as fast as my leg could carry me out of that very vicinity. So, guys, that is the story of me and snail. And I'm so happy that once again... And I learned that snail has a spiritual significance. I don't know how true that is. But if you know the uh, spiritual significance of a snail, what it means, the symbol, what snail symbolizes, you know, please let me know. Especially when you dream, when you have a dream or you had a dream and you find yourself picking snails or buying snails in the market. I really want to know what it symbolizes. So if you have an idea, please write it on my comment box below. Once again, this is Princess Chief Vlog. See you in my next video. Don't forget to like. Here is the snail. Okay. I've covered it back. And I'm going to secure it very well. Once beaten, twice shy. 
from what happened to me when I was younger, I've learned to, the method to secure snail from running away. Make sure you cover it properly. Oops, sorry guys, because I'm using my hand to one hand to make this video. Make sure you cover it properly. So I cannot run away when those below. Once again, this is Princess Chew Vlog. See you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye.